Hi everyone, it's Athena here. In this video, I'm going to talk about some very important ways that you can heal from narcissistic abuse. Maybe this abuse was in a relationship or maybe you have started your healing journey after discovering that your parents are narcissists. Whatever your circumstances, these tips will apply to any relationship that you've had with a narcissist and that you are trying to heal from. First of all, it is important to know that the initial stage is understanding what has happened to you. It's identifying that yes, indeed, you have been with a disordered individual or yes, indeed, you have discovered that your parents actually have this personality disorder. They have narcissistic personality. And when you first identify this, you will be online constantly searching about narcissistic personality. You will be trying to read as much as you can to gain clarity and to understand what's happened to you and to understand how these people are and how they react and how they treat people. You will want to understand everything you can about somebody with this personality disorder. And that's okay, that's the first step, the realization that actually you have been abused by a disordered individual and nothing was actually your fault. Once you discover this, of course, you then have to move on. Sometimes when you um, discover you've been in a relationship with a narcissist, you may have a lot of obsessive thinking. You may feel very addicted to this person and having an addiction to a narcissist can actually be the worst kind of addiction because the obsessive thoughts and the unfinished business that usually comes with the end of a relationship with such an individual can be excruciatingly difficult to stop. However, there is hope. As long as you turn the focus onto yourself and not on the narcissist anymore, then you can heal. So the first step is to learn how to self-soothe, is to learn how to care about yourself and put your needs first. For those of you who ended up with a narcissist, you probably never knew how to look after yourself first. You probably don't have a solid sense of self. You are probably somebody who doesn't like yourself very much. You have to first learn to love yourself and to self-soothe and practice self-care. You are the most important person. You have to first heal any emptiness that you may feel within yourself. If you had family trauma, if you did grow up with narcissistic parents, you have to go inside yourself and heal that first. Otherwise, you are never going to be able to have healthy relationships with anybody else. Another very important tip is that you have to learn certain grounding techniques, especially when your obsessive thoughts start taking over. And when you cannot stop thinking about the narcissist, when you cannot stop ruminating about all the things they said and all the things they did and how they felt and how they acted and how they behaved in certain situations, you have to, in that moment, try and ground yourself and distract yourself from focusing on the narcissist in your life. Now you can look online, there's a lot of websites about grounding techniques and these are helpful for people who suffer with PTSD, but if you have um, come out of a relationship with a narcissist, you will probably be suffering with complex PTSD. So look that up, it's very important to understand that what you have left was not a normal relationship, you have left a very toxic relationship which harmed you in very, very many ways. So it's a different type of healing journey that you are going through. Now, it's important to allow yourself to grieve and it's important to allow yourself to be angry. Grieving is a huge part of recovering from a narcissistically abusive relationship. And be angry. Of course you can be angry. Express these feelings. It's a long process, but grieving will make you feel lighter in the long term. It's also very important to remember that you have to go no contact after a relationship has ended with a narcissist. Another very important aspect of healing from narcissistic abuse is to start working on your self-esteem. Do things that will make you feel good about yourself. Take on new hobbies. Go out and meet other people um, that enjoy doing something that you enjoy. Um, find a local art group or go to a yoga class or join a walking group and go walking in nature. Do things that make you feel good about yourself. 
that make you feel happy. If you have any talents in certain areas, then you know, work on those talents. Do things that make you find yourself again because in a narcissistic relationship, you don't even know who you are anymore. You completely lose yourself because the narcissist is an expert at completely destroying your self-esteem. But that self-esteem is still there. You just need to find it and bring it out again. So build yourself up. It's also important to mention that you have to stop researching narcissism 24-7. It's okay to do that at the initial stages of your recovery when you've just found out that somebody is a narcissist. You may feel like you want to research them all the time. But if you continue doing this in your recovery, you are not going to recover because your focus is constantly on the narcissist. It is also important to remember that you can actually forgive yourself for having been in a relationship with such a person. It is not your fault. You didn't know. You know, nobody seeks out abuse. Nobody wants to be abused. If you had narcissistic parents and then you ended up with a narcissist, it wasn't your fault because you were already in an environment like that, which means that it's only natural that you will then end up with somebody that resembles your parents. So don't be too hard on yourself. Forgive yourself and learn to notice red flags so you don't end up with this kind of person again. But the most important thing is that if you do not heal yourself from inside, you will not be able to then find a healthy relationship if you are not healed within yourself, if you haven't increased your self-confidence in yourself, if you don't love yourself unconditionally, you are not going to then find somebody that will respect you and love you unconditionally. So that's the end of the video today. I really hope these tips helped you. I wish you all the best in your journey of recovery from narcissistic abuse. And if there's any questions that you have at all, then please feel free to email me as always. Lastly, don't forget to check out my assertiveness course. It is in a PDF format. It is ideal for those of you who are not quite ready yet to attend an assertiveness training class. It's got 30 pages of really good information about how to be assertive in certain situations, such as dealing with criticism, dealing with someone who's aggressive, um, dealing with someone who's just not hearing what you're saying. It's great for people pleasers. It helps you to say no without feeling guilty rather than saying yes and then regretting that you said yes. So please check it out. It is available and you can email me if you would like a copy of this PDF. So please feel free to do that and I will send you the link. And take care of yourselves and see you in my next video. Bye.